him as he's a staple on this show, but for tradition's sake, please welcome the star of Braindance, Rodrigo Martinez! Long time no see, Rody. Hey, up top! Dream Optics! Wait, don't tell me. Kuroshi? <laughs> what else? <laughs> How about you? Still a Biodyne man? Hey, if it works fine, why change it? I'd recommend the Model 300 XS to anyone in the blink of an eye. <laughs> but let's get down to brass tacks. Your newest brain dance, Metal Wars, Metal Hearts, comes out tomorrow. Care to tell us a bit more? First off, it's a masterpiece. The feeling you get as a tank driver, burning fuel in your nostrils, being one with the machine. Oh, you gotta relive it yourself. Explaining won't do it justice. I know, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, so I play Luis Morales, and this is all based on a true story. Morales led the 6th platoon of armored cavalry in the Battle of Ridgecrest. If I recall correctly, the Free States outnumbered NUSA forces 6 to 1. That's right, caught them in a trap. The Free States demanded an unconditional surrender, but the President Myers decided Militech that is the NUSA, would fight to the bitter end. Picture the scene, Ziggy. You're in the desert. The sun's going down. Suddenly you see a line of Nebuto tanks, a wall of dust trailing behind them. You kiss your only picture of your wife and kids, tighten your grip on the hot leather steering grips, and then you just go. Your tank's rattling. You can feel the rocks under your treads as if you were walking over them barefoot. Explosions everywhere, shattered glass and shrapnel bouncing up the hull. I mean, it's just indescribable. I don't know, Rody. You seem to be doing a pretty decent job. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, Ziggy, but you really have to relive it yourself. Really feel it. Tell us, Rodrigo, don't you think it's a bit too soon for a brain dance like this? The war was only a few years ago. Tens of thousands of people died. Kelly split into two halves. Neighbors versus neighbors, brothers against brothers. Ah, uh, who am I to judge? Uh, I don't think this brain dance is meant to show one side as the heroes and the other as the bad guys. It's a story about courage, bravery, about having the taste of victory in your mouth. Well, Rodrigo, you sure got my appetite going. <laughs> well then, mission accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, Metal Wars, Metal Hearts, available in theaters starting tomorrow. We'll be right back after a short commercial break. Blah, blah, blah. A 
Okay, it's ready. You guys recording? Sweet. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Holy shit! Did you get that? <laughs> now, I could go over all the fine grain deeds and specs, but I'm guessing that little demo spoke for itself. One thing I will say, though, for an extra premium, Moore will throw in some red hat incendiary and stun modules for the house stock W. All this just shows that more technologies house stock W implants are an excellent choice for security personnel, mercs, and of course, any ordinary night citizen struggling to get their pickled stock jars open. <laughs> and now the moment you've all been waiting for. That's right, a five out of five. See you next time and keep on chipping in.
Yo, 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 my tubers, shroomers, and fumers. Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, sweet, sweet clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. I don't make trouble. Be trouble. But there's smoke.
when you feel Norton's body fall limp in your hands, with his hot blood streaking down your chrome skin, I mean, wow, green catharsis. Fracture Enough is a brain dance masterpiece and proof that Lizzie Wizzy's genius extends far, far beyond her music. I cannot recommend it enough. Fracture Enough by the one and only Lizzie Wizzy is available on feeders now. Check it out. Gunpowder co. 
cartridges these days. Am I right? Loud, clunky, and a recoil that'll snap your wrist. You know what I'm getting at, right? But maybe, just maybe, it's time to try something new. Today, I want to tell you all about Dara Polytechnic's flagship product, the Electromagnetic DR-12 Quasar Pistol. Now, I don't usually talk shop on Dara, because, well, they don't have much of a selection. After all, they're an R&D company that makes its bread and butter from patent licensing. I know, right? Boring! <laughs> but when they do manufacture a gun, it's almost always to showcase some fancy tech gimmick, which makes them pretty granite, but also unreliable and rough around the edges. The exception is Dara's handgun line. The first to hit the stores was called the Nova. Except with standard G-Powder cartridges, there was nothing Nova about it. But the Quasar, <laughs> now that's a whole other ball game. The first thing you'll notice about the Quasar is the weird shape of the receiver, as if it was an assembly line error. But surprisingly, it's a really snug fit. Just uh, don't expect to find a magic holster anytime soon. <laughs> On top of that, it's got this old-timey drum magazine that's a clear throwback to the Depression-era outlaws and bank robbers of last century. Here's the twist, though. The drum mag isn't loaded with bullets, but with birdshot. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Now, I know what you're thinking. Birdshot? You know, the thing you used to shoot clay pigeons at the shooting range with your pops? Have the great minds of Dara finally gone cuckoo? Well, Birdshot, still the same old birdshot, yeah. But it's the projectile speed that's turning heads. See, hidden inside the quasar's barrel are four electroconductive rails. Now, put two opposing electromagnetic fields inside the cylinder, load your birdshot, run a current through the rails, and BAM! <laughs> You just blasted straight through a solid lead surface, half an inch thick. Now, how do I know that? Cause I tried it myself! <laughs> Pulling a trigger never felt so good in my life. Of course, a curiosity like this has gotta come with its downsides. If your battery dies mid-shootout, the Quasar will be about as useful to you as an industrial stapler. The quality of the components also doesn't impress. The Quasar's frame is made from cheap plastic, but hey, <laughs> at least that means it won't be much more pricey than a bottle of good Japanese whiskey. But aside from all that, I'd ask myself one question. Why the hell not? <laughs> Go get your Quasar at any firearm store and see for yourself. That's it for today, folks. And remember, stay loaded.
one euro dollar for an ocean of hate. Yo, 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 my tubers, shroomers, and fumers. Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Kaboom!
king without paying a king's ransom? Then I've got something for you. Meet the Mizutani Shion. There are a lot of cars out there that seem to be going through an identity crisis, trying to do too much at once, like the Archer Hella or the Thornton Mackinac. The Mizutani Shion doesn't have that problem, because it knows exactly what it is. A sports car, period. This car is built for optimizing one thing and one thing only, raw speed. Looking at the Shion, you can see why. You've got an aggressive aerodynamic body that can cut through air like a knife, complete with a five-cylinder engine that's generous for this price range. Now, I know what you're going to say. There are cars out there that have got better acceleration, higher top speed, but none of them have got the Shion's hyper-responsive steering and baby-smooth suspension. On the flip side, the Mizutani Shion's interior is a bit too compact for comfort and has a plastic and fiber finish. I'm also not crazy about the creaky stick shift and cheap upholstery. But let's be honest, the Shion's not a car you buy to show off your impeccable taste. You buy it to burn rubber and tear up the streets. So if you're the kind of person who wants a car to be more than a slab of metal on wheels going 150, something that belongs in an art gallery, then the Mizutani Shion isn't for you. But if you want a truly dynamic machine that'll put your cred balance in the red before you've even left the dealers, then you and the Shion will get along just fine. That's all for today, folks. See you next time, or on the road. And remember, stay loaded.
was bawling like a baby. I'm serious. I'm telling you, it's a BD experience everyone ought to relive. Today, right now. The passion of Joshua is already available on all feeders for only $39.99, and it's worth every any. Be right back with more BD news from around the world after the break.
famous uncles, now in real sight. We want your daughter for an ocean of taste. from last year's yields. 
the result of catastrophically heavy rains and floods plaguing the region. Local authorities are under obligation to provide nearly 80 million bushels of their crop to Biotechnica, the engineers behind the frost corn hybrid species. The city of Juno now faces a difficult choice of whether to honor the agreement, causing severe shortages in Alaska, or break the contract and forego next year's seed corn delivery from Biotechnica. Whether you believe Alaskans deserve humanitarian aid, or perhaps a lesson in self-reliance, cast your vote at the address below. Freak accident or targeted attack? Nano bees terrorize the residents of Milan. Eyewitness accounts tell us 7 million of the Fenglang nanobots suddenly ceased their pollination functions and buzzed straight for the Lombardy capital, though the cause remains unknown. The nanobees infested several buildings and moving vehicles, causing numerous reported accidents. The mayor of Milan, Lorenzo Ricci, announced the formation of an investigative committee to determine the cause behind the bizarre phenomenon. Ever dreamed of being a head of state? Now may be your chance. Luxury real estate firm No Limits at All has announced another 15 artificial islands available for sale now. Each island spans at least three square miles and possesses a foundation built to withstand an eight on the Richter scale. Because they are located in international waters, island owners fall under no nation's jurisdiction and are free to establish and enforce local law and custom. For more information on your future slice of paradise, visit the address below. In the meantime, this lovely West Coast weather isn't a bad substitute. Thanks for tuning in, Night City. Stay 